Hi, it's Damati here from Redware. I had the privilege uh, yesterday of attending Mark Wilcox uh, visualizing the PhD COVID cases data uh, meetup session. Uh, I think it's part of the uh, London Business Analytics Group. Uh, it was a 100% fantastic session. And um, I've just been going over some of the things that Mark went through, and I thought you might like to see them here. So what I've done is I've created this Power BI presentation uh, using uh, the Public Health England um, data. Um, and this is all covered in Mark's uh, session. Um, but I've, so I've done, you know, just done a simpler version really of his. So if you look here, um, so I live in uh, Sussex. So if I click Southeast, I can see, I can click on Brighton and Hove, and I can see I've got um, I've got 71 cases in Brighton and Hove. Uh, if I click here, that's the total southeast 994. If I click here, is the total cases for England 31,000 as of uh, 3rd of April. Um, so these are interactive Power BI. You can just show Barnet. Uh, and so on, it all sort of refreshes as you click uh, around the screen. You can select your London boroughs. Um, you can you can just select one of the boroughs, um, or you can just click here or select all the boroughs. Click here or select all the things. This one here refreshes. Uh, this one's static, just looking at the total deaths, unfortunately. Um, so here we have. Um, the deaths and a cumulative bar. So there's a link here. Um, yeah, let's have a look here. So this is the government version. Um, so you can look at their dashboard here. Um, there's obviously pretty much more sophisticated. Uh, you can just click on Sheffield. It will show you in the graph. Um, and uh, you can see uh, various data there. Uh, then Mark did a, a version. Uh, he tried to. He was replicating the um, the the version that uh, the government have. And here it is. Again, this is in Power BI. Uh, this is in the desktop version. So you can you can click and it'll update here um, and so on. Um, you can click on England. Uh, and uh, that's replicating the, the the government version. And he went through that. In his session, and I think he's going to put it uh, on the internet at some point. Um, so you can find all of Mark's resources um, here. There's a link here, and he's got his uh, something that we're using here—a little spreadsheet lookup. Um, but he's got his uh, example here. But I'm going to show you how I created uh, this one, um, and what we, in order to do that. You need to download from here this historic data, which is updated, I think, daily. So you can uh, download the spreadsheet from there. And then from, I'll put the links in from Mark's thing, we're just using this PHE lookup. Okay, so I won't show it all to you, uh, but here's PHI 05. This is our, our um, the thing in the, in, 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 the, in the Power BI desktop. Obviously, you need Power BI desktop. Um, but I'm just going to start it from scratch. I think that's the easiest way to show um, how we're going to uh, do it. So let's fire up Power BI. And if we look at the spreadsheet, oh, well, let's just uh, get data. So this is a fresh one get data and we're going to pull in the spreadsheet um, directly um, into Power BI. Obviously I've had a quick look at the spreadsheet uh, so I know uh, what I'm looking for. So if we get get data we want to get Excel data. Uh, I want to pull in this historic uh, spreadsheet. And I want to look at this UTLA data. Um, 
let's have a let's have a look at it. Let's go straight to transform. I've noticed by the way, Power BI they've simplified their um their band their stuff at the top here, which uh confused me a little bit. But here we are, we have um you know all the uh the districts they're called UTLAs. Um so for Bristol, and then we if you scroll right, you've got the uh the cumulative uh amount of cases. Um now that's okay, but we want to print a little bar chart with the daily cases. So uh and that's uh it needs quite a complex bit of uh DAX, which I copied uh from Mark, and I'll show you how to do here. Uh, but first of all, we need to tidy up this uh, table, this spreadsheet that's come through. Um, so what we want to do here, these top six rows, we want to get rid of them. So we want to remove top rows and we're going to get rid of those six top rows. And then we want that top uh, first row as header. So that's great. That first row is a, is a header. And then if we look down at the bottom, it's got a summary for England, and we have to remove um, bottom rows. I think this changed. I, originally, I had to remove one, and now I've got to remove two. So the bottom one should be Worcestershire. Yeah. So that's uh, that's getting there. Um, I'm going to delete this uh, this column because uh, I've got. Um, something from Mark, which has got that description in, so we'll just keep with the with the column. And then what we want to do, we want to sort of pivot this uh, so that we get the date. Um, you'll see, unpivot other columns. So now we've got um, three columns. We've got the area code, the date, and the cumulative uh, daily cases. So let's change this uh, name. Um, rename date, uh, rename this one, and it's a date field, so we've got to change the type to date, and then here we want to change the name, to cumulative cases. Uh, so that's good. We can save that. I think that's good for now. And we could um, create a nice little graph now uh, with cumulative cases. Uh, yeah, one thing I've I've, I've noticed is. Uh, it's sort of summated. I don't really want it summated. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, so I should be able to have, uh, if we create a Ready there. So that's our cumulative cases going up to 30,000. So that's great. Um, that's all good data. Um, but uh, the trick is we want to get the daily cases. And we don't have that data there. Um, if we look, if I just create a little table here, um, we've got uh, the area code. Uh, and the cumulative cases and the date. Um, I'm not sure about this hierarchy business either. So let's just put the old fashioned date in there. Um, so we've got the data there, that's fine. But we want to get the, um, the non cumulative data. And to do that, we've got to um, create a variable and do some DAX, which is a bit dicey, and that's really the thing 
uh, I want to show you here. So uh, I find a sort of nice way to build it up. So if we uh, if we select here and we want a new column, and it's going to be the daily cases. Um, and let's let's create current cases equal in our table. Uh, oh, sorry, cumulative. I'll rename it in a minute. Return. Uh, so, yeah, current cumulative cases. If I return the current cumulative cases here. Uh, Oops. Should be okay. And then if we drop that into a thing, we can see. So we haven't actually changed anything here. Uh, we've got it just showing the current cumulative cases. Now, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to create a little lookup. It's going to look up that the previous value and then subtract them. And we can build that up uh, slowly here by uh, editing this. So we've got the current value. Um, and then let's get the current date. And then let's get the previous date. Which is equal to the current date. Minus one. And if we return the current date, we just see that working. That the previous date, sorry. Oh, of course, it's because of the news. This, uh, yeah, it's just that some, um, it's not, there's just not, um, let's, let's just keep returning the cumulative cases. Okay, so I've got the cumulative cases, I've got the current date, I've got the previous date. Now what I want to look up is I want to look up the previous cumulative cases. So I'm going to go variable, previous cumulative cases equals, and this is the thing I'm going to look up, the cumulative cases, and then I'm going to tell it, uh, oh, I forgot something. I'm going to tell it to use the date as the previous date. What I've forgotten to do is I need the area code. So if I go variable area code equals like so. So I'm going to look up the previous cases as the previous date, but the area code is the area code so let's check that that's working and then the daily cases cumulative cases minus previous cumulative cases and then if we return the daily cases uh, that should be it so you see here it's 23.17.26 so that's worked and um, the way I did it um, before I put the sum in there uh, you can sort of return these variables as you go along just to see them and you can build it up like that and 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 that will that will sort of do it for you uh and then you know you could add um the daily cases instead of here you can have the daily cases 
uh, and make it a bar chart and so on. And that's basically what I've done um, in the PHE um, in, 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 in my one. So what I do is if I open that one, I can show you my one and then you, can, uh, and then you, can, you now know how to do that. Converting the cumulative to the daily, um, which is what you need. So let's look at the finished product. So if we look here at the UTLAs, I've got the daily cases, and it's, it's, it's the same as we did before. Daily cases, we've got to set the current code, the current date, current cumulative value, get a variable for the previous date, which is yesterday, and then look up using this look up, which is saying look up the cumulative cases, using the area code and the date of searches, and then um, take one from the other and return the cases, and that gives you the daily cases. So here we've got the daily cases. Um, and then we've just imported this U UTLA table, which is uh, Mark Wilcox table, which has got the regions and the region name, just to get this to work so that you can um, shrink these down just put that on there as a slicer um, uh, so that's that's quite easy um, and then for the the, the the daily deaths I've imported another table of daily deaths of, of the deaths which has just got the totals for England and then I've done another one of those um, almost exactly the same a bit of DAX there to, 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 to give you the daily deaths uh, rather than the cumulative um, so that's it, really. It's all uh, online, and I've published this, so you can you can you can click on the thing, and um, if you uh, I suppose uh, yeah, if you just look underneath this YouTube video at some links or at my blog .redway .com, uh you can find all the links that you need um, for this. Or have a look at the uh, London Business Analytics Group on Meetup. Okay, thanks a lot. I hope it's useful. I'll be updating it as we go along and um thank you